Okay, good day to you. Yeah, oh, flooding everywhere. We've had so much rain. Yeah, we've had so much rain. Just checking my feet are staying dry. It's quite deep there. Or oh, horses. We've got the works, haven't we? Um, I've been out and about riding all over. I've been up to um, Infinity Motorcycles. Yeah, to um, take some boots back that Mrs. Tame ordered. Um, and uh, now, I'm, I, what I wanted to do was talk about, well, one, the Triumph Tiger. Yeah, uh, if you haven't seen the review, or I haven't published it yet, yeah, it'll be up soon, yeah. Or go and have a look at it if I have. Um, uh, the weather's been glorious today, but it's now just looking like it's going to rain again. Um, so I'm not going to really talk about the Tiger, other than its use. Uh, so today, like I say, up to Infinity Motorcycles, um, absolute time saver. Yeah. Um, the traffic was quite heavy because parts of the A11 were closed going northward um, so we had to go back roads um, um, and uh, it went like an absolute dream it really did I, th then what did we do we um, coming back down the A11 flew you know I'm not saying I'm not talking about you know 150 miles an hour but it just cruised very easily um, and now um, I want to talk about analog yeah because as you know um, I had my identity stolen yeah I'm not talking about time I'm talking about my real identity um, and it started with O2 giving my uh, phone number away. Yeah, so what happened was I got a message um, saying, sorry to hear you're leaving us. Here's your pack code. Don't share it. So I didn't share it because I'm not an idiot. Um, what I did do though uh, because I was in a meeting when I got that text about half an hour later I phoned O2 and I said um, oh, we've got a bit of flooding oh interesting so we'll just go nice and steady uh, hopefully it's not too deep so yeah so I say I'm not leaving you I didn't phone you uh, don't transfer my number I don't want my put code they said oh that's all right you don't need to do anything um, just don't give it to anybody I didn't give it to anybody 24 hours later so 24 hours later my phone goes off um, and I lose all signal um, all my details that uh, were held on O2 so obviously someone well what happened they told me someone phoned up and said that they that I wanted to leave um, and they know that it wasn't me because I phoned up and told them it wasn't me um, but they still give it away anyway so someone had access to my O2 account now the irony of it all O2 can't provide me with any information that's not me and because it wasn't me they won't provide any information about those people how ironic is that um, I have done a subject access request and I will be taking the matter further I do have a complaint going um, so yeah oh, anyway the fallout from that is um, 
massive but I'll talk about that maybe a little bit more um, but what it led me to do because that, that, that had a snowball effect that then uh, because everything all passwords and everything were reset through my phone uh, through that phone number they managed to get my email so yeah I'm just going down here because I'll, I'll, I will get to it before I get there um, um, <laughs> oh, where was I um, yeah so they got my email as well but anyway it got me thinking about things so no one had, had access to my phone they just got my number and from that they managed to get my email address but it, it made me look at the hassle uh, three or four weeks of hassle changing everything um, I'll get down here absolute nightmare yeah anyway so it made me think about analog and this thing with photos um, which you know we don't take photos like we used to we don't get films developed um, we do it on our phones and inevitably we don't bother ever getting them them done do we we don't print them off very often uh, very rarely except uh, to wield willy who prints everybody's off for them yeah marvelous oh it looks wonderful his wall but anyway what it made me do was I got on the internet and I thought I'm going to buy a film camera yeah and that's what I've done I've bought a couple I bought two I bought a little Instamatic thing and I bought um, oh I can't remember what it is um, so I'll save it for now and you'll see it in a minute because what I want to do even though the sun has gone in um, I want to get some photos of the snowdrops so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going off over to Crazy Horse for a coffee. Yeah, marvellous. If they're still open, that is. Um, they probably won't be, so I might not make that in time. But that's my plan. Uh, just talking again about the Tiger. Now, obviously, this Tiger is the GT Pro. It's the road-based version. Obviously still okay for tracks and green lane in a bit I think with appropriate tyres on I should imagine um, but it is a breeze to ride down these roads which are normally pretty hellish on lots of other bikes um, on this doesn't seem to mind any of it I mean they are basically dirt tracks as you can see and you'll be able to see the suspension working down here and maybe even my voice because this road is absolutely shocking and it only gets worse yeah so my intention is to get down here and take some photographs I'll show you the cameras um, first of course I don't have any luggage on this so it's literally in an old camera bag and I paid just so as you know £50 for one camera and £10 for the other um, uh, the film I can't remember how much it was but it wasn't a huge amount and developing isn't that expensive either um, I will of course take some photos with my phone yeah suspension is working really hard but has no difficulty with it it's doing it so I want to get down here and hopefully I can find somewhere to park that um, isn't too in the way because there's some nice snowdrops down here um, what I might do oh, there's some in there as well so what I might do is just whiz it round and park just on the side there so let me go and find somewhere to turn round I don't want to go all the way right. do I so don't want to get too much on the mud because I don't want it to sink in but I reckon I could probably chance it about here somewhere by the looks 
so if I just park it there let's see if that sinks in and how much it sinks in I reckon that's that's all right sunk in a little bit um, ignition off and just have a little look at it in with the snowdrops look at that marvelous right i'll show you this camera hold on a sec right here we are so here's my little bag um with the canon look canon 1000 slash 1000 f so that's one and the other in here if i can get it out is a little canon show shot thing what do you reckon that's a little instamatic um so what i'll do is you can see that absolutely everywhere in there and there's some little yellow flowers in there i just want to take some photos and obviously of the bike as well um but yeah anyway i'm going to take some photos with these and we'll see how we get on obviously they won't be published for this video but I, what i will do is i'll take some photos with the phone as well um just so you get the idea and maybe at a later stage i'll compare them yeah right so here's the camera um i've just taken some photos with it 50 pounds i don't even know if it'll work yet um but it's got to be worth a try hasn't it um maybe a new hobby i don't know um but there you go it'll be a while we live in this world where everything's instant this isn't no um but let's get back on the bike and i'll have a little mutter about it right back on board ignition on Brrr, ding, there we go tiger welcome ignition on um and off we go yeah um so yeah a little something back to simpler days which of course this bike isn't um what i am gonna do i'm gonna turn around here you can tell we've been having terrible weather look at the road um, obviously this bike is perfect for doing this sort of thing and when you think about what I've actually done today already um, motorway A roads B roads uh, and Suffolk back roads which are basically tracks nothing more than tracks this one's not so bad um, but uh, I'm just going to have a ride around and see if I can see anything else interesting to photograph yeah oh we've got more flooding thank heavens it's not much but it's mud everywhere um, and could I I, I could have done this I could have done this on Bertie um, but I wouldn't have tackled some of the floods and I certainly well I could have gone up to infinity but not in the time and on the roads that I did and sometimes you know time is valuable isn't it uh, so 
you know it's not about whether one bike can do one thing we know that you can do anything we used to do it on 50 cc um, but this bike has been absolutely marvelous uh, I, I have no sort of real worries about the flooding and it is everywhere today I can see over the hedges because I'm quite high up and I can go a bit quicker where need be and slow where need be which is just marvellous isn't it so what I'll do is um, I'll bring you back when and if I find anything interesting now that would make a good shot wouldn't it what do you reckon let me just so I'm pushing this back uphill up a humpback bridge which is quite steep but there you go what do you reckon look at that that'd be a photo wouldn't it might just do that yeah so quite a shot yeah and quite some flooding down there as well I can see but onward I can't help but use the clutch even though I've got the quick shifter but there you go get used to it over time it's much easier when you're going faster well nope, we've got more flooding so steady There we go. Just lovely. So, going back to um, the identity theft, one of the problems is nobody really wants to know. Uh, the, uh, that includes the police. Uh, action fraud uh, I had five cases uh, or case numbers with action fraud um, and each one came back saying very sorry uh, unfortunately there is nothing we can do under UK law so basically um, everything's happened outside the UK and therefore they're not interested, they're not going to do anything. Um, there are a number of banks involved as well, yeah. They got one set of particular bank details which really limits where the information could have come from. And... Uh, that makes it very interesting but uh, that bank who they'd used money uh, from my bank account to pay for international hotels um, Airbnbs things like that and this is all within days of them um, uh, obtaining my telephone number yeah Um, but what they also did was they created an Experian account and seeing that I had an exceptionally high credit rating they made lots of applications for loans yeah so, <laughs> so uh, apparently I owe a lot of people a lot of money except of course I don't um, and if that matter's not resolved shortly then I will be taking legal action against those banks as well for ruining oh tractor that's marvellous isn't it
Um, oh, bits of flooding. Um, like I say, you can see these Suffolk roads really are not um, not much more than dirt tracks. Um, but anyway, yeah, back to um, identity theft and fraud. Um, we'll see how that pans out. I've resisted for so long because this all happened back in October um, last year and uh, at first I was concerned about uh, you know what legal action might be taken and whether muttering about it would uh, change anything and uh, it won't in short um, so yeah pain uh, in the proverbial what does it affect it affects my insurance it affects uh, my profession um, if I were of a mind to change if I were of a mind to change employers um, I wouldn't be able to because one of the things uh, you have to have a CRB check that's a criminal check if you don't live in the UK uh, but also a, a credit check as well and at the moment <laughs> um, I wouldn't pass a credit check <laughs> I know that's how dire it is oh sorry um, that's how dire it is but there's nothing I can do about it at the moment I'm trying I've tried I've written to TransUnion I've written to the banks um, I have a thing called CFAS on my credit record now so that um, no one else can actually get credit which also stops me getting any credit which also affects everything you can imagine you, you know anything where you think you pay monthly for oh look at that dog oh marvellous um, yeah so life's a bit a bit of a bummer when it comes to money at the moment which is why I've been hanging off uh, getting any other bike yeah because I'm a bit stuffed really unless I sell a bike I've already got and use the money from that to buy another bike and I don't want to do that so yeah I'm a bit stuck so for now um, I'm just grateful to the bikes I've got and to Orwell and Suffolk Triumph and Motor Technics and all those chaps that are lending me bikes to ride um, so yeah, so a bit of a mixed bag of a mutter this and probably far too long and I might have to cut some of it out but what I will do is I will do a full mutter on the whole identity theft because <laughs> did you know it's not a criminal offence to um, steal someone's identity apparently but it is a criminal offence to use somebody's identity that isn't yours but get your head around that if you can anyway hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a different uh, uh, mutter a mixed bag but primarily about analog and had uh, everything been simpler I would not be in the position I'm in yeah because nobody would be giving passwords away via a phone number my phone number wouldn't have been given away quite so quick the banks wouldn't have uh, loaned money quite so easily to someone without further checks you know without a, a paw print at the very least talking of paw prints wonderful anyway yeah that's it I will catch you 
in a mutter. Ta-ta!